Good evening, everyone in Facebook land out there. Baxter Cribs here with you of Training with Baxter. And welcome to my Facebook Live this evening. I want to get right into it this evening, kind of late always, as always it is for me, to be able to get on here with you and to share some things. And the thing, if you've read the headline of my of the video here this evening, the training that I'm wanting to talk with you about, it is that marketing is like dating, and here's why. So to tell you just a short story, that as the story goes, that there was a young man who decided he wanted to meet a few ladies, and he was going to find out how the best way was this, or he just wanted to run an experiment to find out whatever his reasoning might have been. So he went, got in the shower, put on his tuxedo, some nice smelling cologne, fixed his hair up, got him a big rose, went down to the mall, and went in there, and for one hour approached 53 ladies and he asked them just simply one question one simple question and that is will you marry me and of course in that one hour of those 53 ladies he got absolutely 53 no's now sometime later a week a month whatever it might have been he decided to go back down to the same mall to try out again this time he went down with a white t-shirt on, cargo shorts, a pair of flip-flops, and a good attitude of just meeting people and finding out more about them. During the same hour or period of time, which was one hour, he was able to meet 17 different ladies, talk with all of them, and end up getting nine phone numbers from out of the 17 so that he might be able to talk with them a little later on follow up, take him out to dinner, whatever it was that his goal might have been, so that he could continue a process of dating with them. And so this is why I want to talk to you this evening about online marketing is just like dating in that kind of a sense, is that you got to go out there was, first of all, when you're going to go out and you're going to meet people, you're not just going to have your business and go and uh, contact them online and say, hey, join my business. That's kind of like going to a car lot to buy a car and you're walking, look at one, and the salesperson walks up to you and says, why don't you buy it? Well, you don't even know if you like it yet. You don't know if you like him yet. And many times in that way, you're starting off and you're beginning to not like him already. So you're not going to get very far and he's not going to get very far either. And so in the online world, it's like I said, the same idea is here is that we want to be able, first of all, when you approach other people in, on online or in person, you know, whichever you deal with, and you can do it, it applies both ways as we've already talked about, is that you won't make the others feel like, and that's an important word, feel, because you know what? That's the first thing that comes up. People feel your vibrations. They feel you know, is this guy going to be a creep? Is this guy going to be helpful? Is he going to be giving me some value? And they feel that first. Then they start to think logically. And so whenever you come, you meet people, you need to make them feel like they can trust you. Because if there's no trust, you get absolutely nowhere. And it doesn't have to be a lot of trust. It's got to be some trust, though. So how are you going to do this here? Is that you're going to, first of all, you're going to be interesting yourself. But more so, you're going to be interested in them because that's why you're there, is you're interested in them, not yourself. They don't want to hear about you. They don't care about you yet. They may be in a few little bit. Once you build a little rapport, which is the next thing is you want to give them some information that they're looking for because, as we know, when people come online, they're looking for two things, one of two things, and that is they're looking for information to solve problems or they are looking for entertainment. And so, in our case, where most of the time, unless your business is entertainment, then you want to offer them some information, and in offering that information to them, you want to make them feel like you are trustworthy. Okay? Trustworthy is always there, you know, because people are not going to buy from you until they know, like, and trust you. And so they got to get to know you, so you have to build some rapport of some sort with them before you say, will you marry me? Will you go out on a second date with me? Will you do whatever it is that you're asking? And this is why it's so important. Now, online, we do this through several ways. The guy in the mall 
he went and face to face and said, you know, so they had a visual activity and he got visual rejection or a visual acceptance as the one was indeed. But you can do this here. We do this through emails. We do it through chat boxes. We do it through texting on our phones. We do it through videos as this such. You do it through messenger. There's many ways to be able to be contact people. An example today is a friend of mine or an associate of mine online that I have dealt with in the past sent me a message. says, Baxter, I just put up a blog and it's about so and so. If you're interested and like to read it, I'll send you the link. So I clicked on the thing. Sure, send me the link, Mark. And so he did. And so that, my friends, is because we did that because he's already built some rapport with me. He offers valuable stuff to me, and he's not pushy at all. He says, here, if you want to read it now, when I go over there, of course, there's going to be some great information there. It's going to give me some value. And then he's going to say, now, if I can help you in some way here with this, here, do this here, or go here, or go there. So he's you know, asking me to, to then take participation in him, kind of like, you know, if you ask somebody to go out with you, come on, let me go out and take you out to dinner. Or are you asking them, come on, come home with me, I need you to cook for me. You know, so if you're going to take them out for dinner, they get in some value, they learn to trust you, and they feel more comfortable with you versus, you know, come and cook for me. They don't want to do that. They want to learn some, get something of value from you. And the value that you're going to offer online is, of course, going to be solving their problem with whatever means that you might have. And there's a lot of things to solve. There's a lot of different niches. There's a lot of different things that people are into. But here's the whole point of dating somebody and getting them to trust you and to know and to like you is because, my friends, over here, people are not going to buy. People need to buy into you before they're going to buy from you. Okay, they have to know you a little bit. You have to have that trust. You have to have that that feeling. As I go back to over here, because you, you it'd be hard enough to even get somebody to ride with you in a car, pick them up from their house, and take them somewhere if they do not feel comfortable with you. You can't get people to click on your emails, open your chat boxes, watch your videos, until they feel comfortable with you, until they know you to some degree. And feel like you're not a threat to them. And that feel always comes up. Because that's the first place most people start. Is they have a feeling. My friends, there's much more to be covered on this subject. Too much for me to cover in this short period of video here. But it's written down for you. If you'll click on the link that is above here. If you'd like to, I want to invite you to come and click on that. And to download this very thing. It's written out in a longer format. So you can read about it in greater detail. And see the things that, are, that I could not explain well on here. And also, there are nine other days that you can get in that same one click that you'll have nine day, ten days total of value of how to do online marketing and getting people to come to you to know, like, and trust you. So I invite you to click on the link above <clears throat> and go there and download your free copy of a 10-day boot camp to help you build your business. That's it for this evening. Thank you for stopping by with Training with Baxter, and we will see you next time. Have a good evening.